It's a ruling Shuttleworth believes could set a precedent for exchange control laws. In a statement on his website, Shuttleworth said today's ruling by the Supreme Court of Appeal found administrative and procedural fault with the Reserve Bank's actions in regards to me and returned the fees levied, for which I am grateful. This case, however, was not filed solely in pursuit of relief for me personally. We are now considering the continuation of the case in the Constitutional Court to challenge exchange control on constitutional grounds and ensure that the benefits of today's ruling accrue to all South Africans. Shuttleworth founded internet security consultancy Thought Consulting in 1995 while a student at the University of Cape Town. He sold it in 1999 for 575 million US dollars, about 3.5 billion rand at the time. Shuttleworth then moved 2.5 billion rand out of the country in 2009. He had to pay the Reserve Bank a 10% levy, which he argued was an unfair tax. The 250 million rand plus interest that the Reserve Bank now needs to pay back will be held in trust by Shuttleworth. The money will be used to help fund constitutional court cases on behalf of those who cannot afford to pay the legal costs.